Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video for Vlogmas, I'm gonna be showing you how to do a 100% drugstore classic red lip makeup look. Not only am I giving you some of my top favorite drugstore products to use, but also some tips and tricks on how to get the perfect red lips to stay put all night and how to shape them. Now, I also have a video on how to pick the perfect red lipstick for you based on your undertone. I will link that down below or up here somewhere. If it's not already up, it'll be up after this video. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and jump into how to create a classic red lip using affordable products. Okay, to start off with for foundation, I'm going to use L'Oreal today. This is in the color 430. This is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Wear. I usually use the corresponding concealer, but I can't find it. I do have two e.l.f. concealers, so we will see how this goes. I'm gonna go in with a Real Techniques buffing brush. All of the brushes I'm using for this are not gonna be drugstore, it's just what I have available at the moment. This is a really nice kind of in-between satin finish. Um, foundation. The only thing that kind of is not my forte about it is it does have like a little bit of a perfumey smell but all foundations kind of have some type of smell and I don't like any of them so I don't know if that'll ever be pleased but I like how this one is very full coverage and it comes in a variety of different shades which is always very nice. I'm gonna drop this mirror. <laughs> it's been a minute since I sat here to do a tutorial. Usually I'm doing it in my room but uh, we've got you guys nice and zoomed in so you can see everything. All right, I have two concealers here from e.l.f. This is the 16 Hour Camo Concealer. I have Light Peach and Light Ivory. I'm gonna go in with Light Ivory, but this is gonna be a little bit too light for me. I have to go in and get another one, but for $6, guys, um, I've already worn this maybe once or twice. This is, this is a pretty amazing concealer. So I'm gonna go in with the color Light Ivory because it has a little bit more um, pink tones, but it's going to be very bright on me. I will color correct this. Hopefully when you do this tutorial, you will have your own shade. I'm also going to apply a little bit to the back of my hand, just in case I need it for touch-ups or anything. But like I said, I'm going to be color correcting this because this is a little bit too fair for me, but this is one of those concealers that, um, is one of those ones that you think are going to be not great and they turn out being really amazing for the price. So I'm gonna go pick up another one of these tomorrow in my right shade. Um, so don't mind this, I will fix this in just a second. Now this one does oxidize fairly quickly and it does dry down fairly quickly. So you do wanna work with it, but it's not a drying concealer even though it is a matte concealer. And because I primarily just started using um, high-end or more luxury and foundations and it doesn't mean that I don't enjoy a good drugstore. Actually, I kind of prefer the drugstore concealers sometimes. Usually I go in with the It Cosmetics, but that could be a little bit expensive. It's about 35 to $38. But because I only need so little of that, it lasts me a very long time. But there are days where I just don't want to do the work. And if you can get a concealer at $6, that does pretty much the same thing or very something very similar, except this one isn't waterproof. I'm gonna go in with this Maybelline Fit Me. I have the color light medium. You can also get this in a translucent. I actually like this better than Laura Mercier. So I'm just gonna put some of the powder in here. I'm gonna take my little sponge. This is a Quo sponge. I'm going to press it into everywhere that I would normally get and then as you can see, it tones down the white cast and makes it look a little bit more warmed up and more my skin tone. Now I'm gonna take a little bit more and I'm gonna use a very light fluffy brush to set the rest of it. I'm gonna go in with this, this is an It Cosmetics one. This is number eight. I'm gonna try to knock the excess back into the container so I'm not wasting any. I don't know if that bit helped, but you, know, you never know. And then I'm gonna use this on the perimeter of my face to set the rest of my face and my neck. I 
So now I'm going to go warm up the face and I'm not necessarily going to be contouring. I'm just going to be adding some color and a little bit of shape. I'm going to go in with this Physicians Formula. This is a highlight contour kit with some blush. And I'm going to go in with this shade right here. This is a butter bronzer, a Sunset Butter Bronzer. I'm going to go in with the same brush. These bronzers smell so good. This is actually a product I don't mind smelling. Um, one I also really liked was the Too Faced Soleil Chocolate Day Soleil Bronzer, but um, every time I would get up and I wouldn't eat breakfast and I'd be putting on my makeup, all I could smell was chocolate and I would get so hungry, it would actually make me nauseous. I'm using a bigger brush, so I'm not going to be getting a lot of product, just enough to give me some color and some structure back into my face. I'm do my hairline and just really follow the perimeter of my hair. Now, if you want, you can clean up your jawline. You can go back in and shape that. I'm not going to do that, but if you wanted to, you would just take the tip of your sponge and then just do two little lines of your powder just to kind of cut your angles a little bit more. I'm not gonna do that in this case. I want everything to be kind of really soft. Okay, so now for eyebrows. I've always used eyeshadows. So I'm gonna go in with this Maybelline Matte Bar. And they have a really nice taupe on the bottom that's gray. And then I'm gonna go in after I outline my brows with the darker brown just to kind of warm it up a bit. And I'm gonna take my same old Quo brush that I've had for many, 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 many years. And I just can't find another angled eyeshadow brush that's kind of been used or broken in as much as this one has and I actually just prefer it. So we're gonna do that. Now because this is a matte eyeshadow palette it's a little bit chalky so it's a little bit harder to work with but then it actually stays a little bit longer on your eyes. If you're going to be using an, a shadow and powders tend to look the most natural in my opinion. I'm just going to get the shape of the brows here. Again, I'm not going to brush them up or anything too crazy. I want a very like soft brow. I'm going to go in with that darker brown and I'm going to just tap it in and then t touch the back of my hand once to get off any like dark smudges that are going to be too dark and I'm just going to fill that even, even more and darken it up. Okay, now I'm going to clean up my eyebrows even more. I'm going to go in with a flat shader brush, concealer brush, lip brush, whatever you guys want. I'm going to dip into that concealer with just the tip of the brush. And then I'm going to follow my little brow line here with the tip of the brush. And just take your time with this if you are going to do this step. It's completely optional, but I've got some brow hairs that I need to cover up and kind of just get my brow a little bit more shape. And I'm just going to be doing this to underneath the brow and then a little bit around the side of the brow. I'm not going to go around the whole brow today. You can if you want. I just don't have the patience to do that, to be honest. And I'm going to go in with a big fluffy brush. And I'm going to dip it into that powder, so that Maybelline loose powder I used before. And I'm actually just going to blend it over lightly to kind of bring it back to match the rest of the face so it's not like standing out like a really weird highlight. Okay, now I'm going to go into this butter bronzer that I have. This one is in Sunkissed. So I think it's the same as the other one or the other one Sunset. It might be a little bit darker. This one's a little bit lighter. I'm going to go in with a big fluffy brush, just an eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to start shaping out my eyes. And I don't want my eyes to be round today. I want them to be a little bit more almond. So first I'm going to place this big brush in my crease. And then just a little bit above my actual natural crease. And I'm going to run that back and forth. And the reason why I place that a little bit above and kind of on my natural crease is to make my eyes look wider. You don't have to do this. I'm gonna run that color back and forth and then out to the side a bit. And I'm kinda of gonna stop it right where my brow tail ends. And then when I get to the end and then go back in for a second one, I'm just gonna follow my line, so this way. 
of my upper eye. You can use tape if you can use tape and put it there to stop it if you want. And I'm just gonna start slowly dragging that color out and on an angle down onto my lid and then up into my brow. You don't have to do it that extreme. You can bring it out this way and not this way. And I'm just gonna use a bronzer shade that's a little bit too light for me, still add some depth and some warmth, but give a little bit of a fake shadow because that is the darkest color, shocker I know, that I'm gonna use in my eye today. Okay. Now you can just leave it like this if you want, but I'm gonna go in with some eyeshadow now. And for eyeshadow, I have these really cute little minis from e.l.f. These are, I think this is Cookies and Cream, and this one is Eau de Rose. Um, I don't know why they're just in French. Anyways, uh, they are like a dollar to three dollars depending where you live. I'm gonna go in with the Cookies and Cream one, and guys, this is worth your money. It is, or whatever little money you're gonna spend on it. These are so creamy and pigmented. Um, the reason why I didn't use the brown from here is because I figured I needed a brown that's gonna suit my skin tone. So I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna go into this champagne color over here. And I'm gonna just be placing this on my eyelid and then I'm gonna blend it out a little bit into the outer third. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in. So I'm gonna start from the inner corner. I'm gonna go up to the crease and then lightly taper off around this end over here. I just want a little bit of shimmer, a little bit of warmth, but not that much. Okay, that fluffy brush and a little bit of bronzer that we used. So that lighter bronzer. And I'm just gonna deepen out that crease just in case I lost any color. I just wanna lightly bring it back in. I'm gonna go in with this liquid liner. This is from Maybelline. This is the Super Slim Felt Tip. I'm gonna go back in with that flat shader brush and some of that concealer. I'm just gonna take the tip of the brush and just Following the line of my lower lash line, I'm just gonna clean that up a little bit. Again, you can put tape and line it up with the lower lash line if that's easier for you. And I'm gonna go in with a new mascara. This is called the Air Volume Mega Mascara. It's supposed to be one of those ones that make it look like a little bit clumpy, so if you don't like clumpy, I would not suggest this mascara. It's supposed to give you like this incredible length. So I'm gonna see. This is my first time using this. I'm a little bit spoiled. I kind of really like my Charlotte Tilbury, my It Cosmetics. This is a very wet formula. So if you do get any anywhere, like any little dots, wait till it dries. And once it dries, take a little dry Q-tip, not a wet Q-tip, and just kind of flick it away. This is a pretty... It gives some good length and volume. It's very black, but it is wet. And it makes it hard to kind of get the little corner hairs without getting stuff everywhere. So I'm gonna go in with a pencil brush, the same bronzer. And I'm just gonna run this along the lower lash line. This part is optional, you don't have to. Anywho, now we're just going to go on to blush, and I'm going to use the Milani Luminoso blush, which is really no surprise because I just blush every single day. It doesn't matter what makeup products I'm using. I always use it as a topper or go back in, and I love this blush. Okay, and then for highlight, I'm going to go in with a gold highlight. You can also go in with a rose gold highlight. There are two really nice ones are the Master Chrome by Maybelline. So I have Molten Gold and Molten Rose Gold. I'm just going to apply this to the top of my cheeks. You can do this very subtle if you like. I'm not a subtle person. And if you want something that's a little bit more less gold and less pink, you can go in with the Wet n Wild highlighter, the Champagne, the Mega Glow one. I love this one. I'm actually going to use this one today as an inner corner highlight. 
And then I'm also so I'm gonna put this in the inner corner of my eye. It's because that needs some lighting up. Okay, now if you need more concealer, now is a good time to apply your concealer to the back of your hand. Have that flat shader brush ready because now we're going to do the lips. Now, I did just post a video on choosing the right red lipstick for you, whether you are a warm tone, a neutral tone, or a cool tone. I tell you how to figure out what your undertone is, um, and then that way you can choose the perfect red lipstick as well as give you a bunch of different options. So I will link that below if it's already up. Either this might go up before then, but they should be up within, I think, like a few hours or a day of each other. I am a little bit behind in my vlogmas. I'm gonna go in with this pencil again. I need a better red pencil. I'm just using an Essence one. This is Feminine, Feminine Fatale. Okay, so when you're lining your lips, right, you're gonna to wanna to stretch out your lips like this because when you stretch out your lips, you're gonna be able to get the corners a little bit more defined. So make sure that you really sharpen your lip pencil first. Make sure you sharpen your lip pencil first, okay? You're gonna make your face and you're gonna start by outlining the corners, a little bit in the tip and then the bottom. If you mess up, don't worry, that's why we have concealer because we're gonna go in and fix that. I'm gonna start in the bottom first, the center, and I mark that out. And then I'm gonna kinda mark the corner. And then in a fluid motion, I'm going to connect all three lines and fill them in. Sometimes when you're doing little tiny scratch marks, you might get a little bit of a wobbly line. When you have a more fluid motion, it'll help it from um, going in and having like little scratch or little tiny checks. And then when you get to the inner corners, you almost want to go on a in, inward your mouth and pull downward, but pull in. So you don't want to pull like this. You want to pull in from the inner corner. Okay, so once you have done the same thing to the top, you can do um, each one separately if you want or all together. It's up to you. I take the tip of my brush and some of that concealer. I do have to go in and color correct this concealer once again because it is not the right shade, but I am going to show you and I'm going to take the tip and I'm just gonna And I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna try to get as close as I can to blending out this line and then I'll add some powder to kind of set that and that kind of helps the um, lipstick or whatever you're gonna use from going all over the place. And now for lipstick, I'm gonna go in with this Superstay Matte Ink by Maybelline. This is in the color 20 Pioneer. This is a blue-based red, which means it's pretty perfect for anyone. That this is a stay all day. One of the best drugstore liquid lipsticks in my opinion, and the dough foot applicator has that point. The point really helps you emphasize the shape of your lips. Just go a little bit slow with it, okay? All right guys, and then there you have it. Some kind of kissable red lips, but I'm gonna show you a trick to make this last even more if you're using a lipstick and you're not using a liquid lipstick. So I'll be right. Okay, now if you don't want it to transfer and you have lipstick on that's maybe not a powder lipstick or a stay on day, like a liquid lipstick, you're gonna grab a square of toilet paper and you're gonna separate it. So if you're in a public bathroom or if you're at a party, you just grab one sheet and you pull it apart. You want one layer. So you're gonna take this one layer and you're gonna put it over your lips. You're gonna take some of your translucent powder. You're gonna put this on top of your lips, put the translucent powder over it, and then that way you actually are gonna create a barrier and then if you want, you could top it off with one more layer of red. Just be careful, it might get a little bit cakey. I'm gonna use a really big fluffy brush for this and you wanna make sure that your lipstick or don't do this for gloss, but you want to make sure your lipstick is dried down. Go. And that kind of acts like a filter, 
and basically what you've done is you've added an extra layer and you want to use a translucent powder for this and you want to make sure that you're using one strand and that's a really good way to kind of just make your lipstick from smudging or going all over the place. Did I smudge it? Uh, mine was still kind of wet when I just did that so I just want to make sure I didn't smudge it. Alright guys, so there you go. This is my Drugstore 100% Classic Red Lip Holiday Edition Makeup Look. So I hope you enjoyed this. And don't forget to comment some of your favorite drugstore products that you guys like to use at home because I'd like to check those out as well. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!